guys now i want to talk about rotation i mean rotation okay and when we are talking about rotation we are talking in terms of angles you can rotate in the direction of the clock that is you know the clock moves from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 4 5 6 7 8 and goes back to 10 to 12 or you decide to move anti-clockwisely that is against the direction of the clock which is moving from 12 to 11 to 10 to 9 to 8 and back to 1 and then to 12 again okay moving against the direction of the clock that is anti-clockwise and that is clockwise okay now you can rotate the default angle here is that you can you can rotate by by um, about a point 45 degrees you can rotate about a point you know 90 degrees any angle that you choose to rotate and we're going to practice that now so let us do this of course you know how to bring out your shape so we already have a shape on the screen so i'm going to rotate about a point so if you are going to rotate about a point you need to create that point so let me create a point here let me create a point here okay so i want to rotate about this point so once i've rotated once i've put the point all i need to do is go to my transform tool okay and click rotate about a point rotate about a point once i've done that i need to click my shape and then click the point then to give ask me in what direction do i want it for now let us go through let's do it by let's do anti um, um, clockwise for now i mean clockwise for now so let's rotate in the direction of the clock at an angle of 45 degrees let's see what we have you will see that we now have our rotation you know by 45 degrees this is clockwisely it means that um, b has not been rotated that means if you try to look at the angle between um if you try to if you um, try to this is rotation by 45 degrees okay we may want to like try to confirm the angle let me see whether i can do this let me see whether i can do this whether i can bring them together or something okay we can't okay let's just leave that as rotation by 45 degrees okay let us um, differentiate the object from the um, image okay that we will waste time on that let's make it a bit and uh, let's make it bigger okay this same thing i can choose to rotate you know about that same point at um you know um anti-clockwise let's see the anti-clockwise form of it okay again we already have our objects we have our points okay we want to reflect about um uh, this in 45 degrees anti-clockwisely so let's see how it goes again you go for the transform tool okay you look for rotation rotate, rotate by i mean about around the point you click that click your object click the point and see 45 degrees um and uh, uh, counterclockwise or anti-clockwise so when you do that you can see that we have it this way now 45 degrees away from you know where we from our starting point okay and that means if you try to um That means if you try to if you 
if you are able to extend your ruler now to that point okay you extend the a the line of a c to the or, or origin and you also extend the line of the line of a1 c1 to that point you will see that the angle that will be formed will be um 45 degrees let me try and see whether i can achieve that with this with the measure okay angle so let me try and see whether i can achieve that okay okay between this and this well, let's say this okay let me undo that so let's say i want angle between these points these points and these points but it's actually not giving me what i want let's say i'm able to let me undo that it also confirm that the angles between them is 45 anything about what to do Uh, oh, for then okay let's see what happens if I move them close okay if I move them close now let's see what happens so that you can we can see the effect of the angle so let's measure the angle between a and a now that is you no, know, both of all of them are meeting at the at the points. So if they are all meeting at the points, okay. I'm trying to make I'm moving only the objects. Okay. Once the object can be on that point, the rest too will be there. So the object is there now. You can see all the points are together. So you can measure from ordinary A to A1. Okay, if I measure from ordinary A to A1, so let's see, we're going to measure A, C1, and A1. Let's see the angle that will be there. So I go to measure so that we can confirm whether we have actually rotated, you know, that. So we're talking about this, this angle, this point, this point, and this. Okay. Measure. The angle between this line and this line. This point and this point. Let me move this away. Again, the angle between this point, this point, and this point. Can you see that it is 45? 45 is already showing there. Okay, which means that, um, which means that. Can you see when I try to move the points? Can you see about and I've tried to move the objects, okay? And I make sure that the object is touching that point. Once it's touching that point, all the other every other point will come, it will become one, okay? Once I'm able to achieve that. Once you're able to set it, all the points will come together as one. Then you can now click your, on your measure. Let me do the same thing for uh, between A and another A. But this time I'm doing for A prime, which is okay. Let me do it this way. Uh, for this object, let me paint it um, orange. So, I mean, no, let me change the color from orange to another color. So that there can be difference let me make it say green so what i did was the a that is from green okay i clicked on measure i clicked on measure i clicked on the measure the angle there the first one when i clicked on it 
I then went for the ordinary A, that is for the blue, which is the object. I clicked that line, the line AC. I clicked it, the line from ordinary A to the origin. I clicked it. Then I went to the green um, image now. Okay, the one that was rotated 45 degrees uh, anticlockwise. Day. I clicked on the line of 8 to the line that is taking 8 to that point 2. And you see that the angle 45 was able to come out. Let me do the same thing for the orange and the blue thing. The blue is the, uh, is the image, I mean, is the object, while the orange is the first image that we, that we got. The blue is the object or pre image, while green and the orange, they are the images that we have been able to form. The orange uh, image is one that we formed first, that's why it's having the power, the prime on top. But then the other one that we formed later is giving us. A1, B1, and C1, and all that. So let's see the angle that is formed between the orange and the blue now. That is between the object and the image orange. So all I do is do again click on the triangle and the circle thing, go for measure, measure, then click on the line that is coming from. Um, let's move our screen. Yes. So I can get a clearer picture. Let's let me change the orientation of this thing. Okay. Now let's go for let's go for the measure now. That's the first thing there. That's the angle. If I click on the angle and I click on the line from the orange, the A the A uh, on the line that um, is from A to the origin. Origin is the point where all of them all of them came together so if i click on that line and i also click on the line of the a from the blue you will see that 45 degrees is also uh there let me try and make us see it if i separate them now you see 45 degrees each of them so the for the one to the the one to the orange is the 45 degrees clockwisely while the one to the uh, for the green is the 45 degrees anti-clockwisely i'll clean this now and then um, i'll clean this and let us um, and make us to see i mean we'll do it with another angle we say angle 90 degrees okay we'll do it with another angle say angle 90 degrees i'm trying to make them stay together yeah, i've saved all right so to save this Let's call it rotation. Rotation. Okay. Clockwise. And um, counterclockwise or anticlockwise. Okay. About forty five degrees. about 45 degrees <coughs> so let's save that okay and i'll come back and do the one of 90. so we just have to allow it to save as well as the video.